Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem on Olympiad mathematics. We have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 8 to the power of negative 1. Okay, so if we take a step further, this will be x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 1 over 8. This is according to the law of indices. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to multiply all through by the LCM, which is 8. So I'm going to have 8x to the power of 3 plus 8x to the power of 2 equals 1 because 8 will clear itself from the right. And then now I will bring everything to the left so that I will have um, 8x to the power of 3 plus 8x to the power of 2 minus 1 equals 0. And then from here, this is what I want to do. This 8 here can be written as 2 to the power of 3, then multiply by x to the power of 3, right? Then two, um, 8 here is the same as 2 times 4x squared. Then I have minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so if I take a step, I will have um, 2 times x to the power of 3. Because they are having the same power, we can combine them. Then plus, here now I'm going to have 2 multiply by 2 to the power of 2, multiply by x to the power of 2. Because 4 there is 2 squared. Then I have minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so from here, I want to work on the middle terms here, this term in the middle. So we have 2x to the power of 3 plus here. Now I'm going to have 2. Okay, then I will combine this. So I have um, 2x both to the power of 2. Because they are both having the same power, then minus 1 equal to 0. And now I have 2x in two places. So let a letter represent 2x. Let's say y it will be equal to 2x, right? Okay, so that means I'm going to have y to the power of 3 plus 2y squared minus 1 is equal to 0. But I can split this middle term here. So I have y to the power of 3 plus y squared plus y squared minus 1 equals 0. This way I can factorize, I can group it and factorize. So if I factorize these two terms, I'm going to have y squared as their common factor. Then here I have 1y, then plus 1. Close this bracket. Then on this side, this is how I can factorize it. Remember, this can be 1 to the power of 2, so I can apply difference of 2 squares, which will give me y minus 1, and then in the other bracket, I have y plus 1. This will be equal to 0. Now I can factorize again, because I have y plus 1 here, and I have y plus 1 here. I'll factor out y plus 1, okay? And then in the in the other bracket, I'm going to have um okay in the other bracket I'll have y squared y squared then I have this will be left over here which is plus y minus one both of them equal to zero and now we can apply zero product rule that says it is either y plus one is equal to zero or y squared plus 1 plus y 
minus 1 equals 0. And then from here, I have y to be equal to minus 1. And then I can find the value of my x from there because I said let y be equal to 2x, meaning that 2x is now equal to minus 1. And then x is equal to minus 1 over 2. So this is one of the values of x that will satisfy the given equation minus 1 over 2. But then if we go to the right, this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this using formula method. So this is the quadratic equation and from this equation we have our a to be equal to 1 then b to be equal to 1 and then c to be equal to minus 1 and then we are going to get our quadratic formula now since we are having y as a variable it becomes y equal to negative b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so what we will do now is to substitute so that y will be equal to minus 1 because b is 1 then positive or negative i will have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 a is 1 and c is minus 1 the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Okay, so y now will be equal to, okay, so our y will be equal to minus 1, positive or negative, and we'll have 1 plus 4. Because 1 squared is 1, then minus 4 times minus 1 will give us plus 4, and this is over Okay, so this is over 2. Okay, so y will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus um, root 5 all over, all over 2, right? Yes, this is all over 2. Okay, so that if we take a step further from here, then we can break this into 2 to say that y is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or okay y is equal to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 but remember sorry remember we're not looking for the value of y we were originally looking for the value of x but we say that um okay y now in place of y here the first one here I will write 2x because 2x is y to be equal to minus 1 positive or negative square root of 5 over 2 this is okay and we are using negative and um, positive alone then we we'll use um, negative separately so from here now to get the value of x we we'll divide both sides by 2 so x will be equal to minus 1 plus root 5 all over 2 then multiply by 1 over 2 because we are dividing by 2 so it comes here to become um, multiplying by 1 over 2 because anything multiplied by half is the same as dividing the number by 2 so x here now will be equal to minus 1 plus root 5 over 4 okay so this is another value of x okay remember we got the first value before this is another value of x that will satisfy the given equation then the second value or the third value of x will be x equal to okay this time around i'm going to use negative um the negative of this so we have minus 1 negative root 5 and it will be over 4 as well so this is another value 
of um, x thank you for watching okay let's bring out all the three values we have x to be equal to negative 1 over 2 okay we also have x to be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 and we also have x to be equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over 4 so these are the three values of x that will satisfy the given equation. Thank you for watching.